Hello there, Erunar here and today we are going to review Rhodes Faction. Let's start with the hero, Tlepolemos. He is quite balanced hero who is able to buff his units with more damage and morale and then more attack and defense or be unbreakable. This first ability frenzy I do not recommend it because it will cost you so much health and stamina it's not going to make for it. Other otherwise he's quite balanced hero and he is good for buffing your units. Let's review his infantry roster. So we are starting with young spears, very good front uh, duelist and chargers. I recommend using them in every Aki and Faction, you will do very well with them. Next we have Standard Spearmen. This front line is slightly underperforming for their cost and you, you will do better without it with some different units. For example, you can choose the Rodian Spear Militia. They might not be very good at holding the ground, but they have big shields and they are much better at eating enemy projectiles. So these guys are better as a fodder against missiles. Uh, for your actual fighting force, you are going to use light swordsmen. They are flankers from watchtower building and you will have to use them as pure flankers, otherwise they are going to lose duels. And Rodos has its own special unit. Uh, it's like upgrade of the two units you have seen before. These guys have very good shield and okay stats. You need to use them for flanking and this sword unit has a big charge bonus already and you are going to use it for charging as well. This ability, spread and charge, gives even more charge. Let me show it to you. They are going to make a bigger spaces between them. Our charge bonus increased by 6 and our defense dropped to 20. So when you charge in, you wait a few seconds and then you deactivate so you can have the defense bonus back and that's how you're going to use the Rodian Warriors. Pretty good uh, in general. Rados is having a key and slingers, very good missiles, a lot of ammunition, good range, expendable, very cost efficient. Everybody is using a key and slingers. Let's move to the next unit which is Bowman. Uh, this unit I do not recommend because it's underperforming and it's costing too much. And I would recommend going to next units. Island Skirmishers, uh, quite okay early game unit for some running around skirmishing and trying to deal some pierce armor to armored units. Usually in early game you don't need this unit. Uh, but instead you can go with the Rodian Hunters. These are even better skirmishers with slightly better shields than the light skirmishers that I have shown before. They have same javelins and they are able to hunt uh, very well with uh, this ability shoot while moving. So I would recommend this over the island skirmishers. Now let's move to the mid game. We are starting with Island Club Warriors. Uh, if you got the port building, you can recruit them. These guys are invisible only when they are not moving. And they are, thanks to their weapon, they are able to kill lower tier units without a problem. Uh, in the multiplayer battles, they are solid option, they hold quite well. 
For the front line, you will very likely going to use Rodian Armored Spearmen. They are not just for eating arrows, they are also for stopping enemies uh, and surviving for quite a long. The flank defense improved and strong vigor. It will make them last in battles a little bit longer. So you can rely on these guys. For your flankers and chargers, you are going to use shielded swords. Yes, again, these swords are having the charge bonus together with spread and charge. It's, uh, it's alright, it's kind of balanced in this way and you are going to use this ability to make a, even more charge. And once you have charged it and your charge bonus has uh, run away, you deactivate it. Uh, this is quite good flanker unit to support your front line. I recommend using this unit a lot. Ready. Then we are going to show you what is so good about the Rodos. They are already having 170 range. That's quite nice for mid game missiles. And there are two details to notice why the Rodian Slingers are just better. They have more models. More models means more damage. And the second unique ability is the volley. These slings are able to shoot at a distance of 200 meters. Okay, let me show you what exactly this means. Uh, you can see they can shoot somewhere here. That's their 170 maximum range. But if I go with uh, this ability, I can increase their distance and they are going to shoot this area with their projectiles, with their pebbles or rocks or whatever ammunition they are using. So with the Rodos you are going to outrange everybody very easily. And this is a sling faction. Uh, not just sling faction but a skirmisher faction. These guys are having pretty good uh, shield for being javelins. Uh, they are going to duel very well, especially they can shoot while moving so they do not stop. This makes them very good and useful skirmishing or javelin unit in general. That's very good. Now let's move to the chariots. As Achaeans we have the melee chariots. They are solid, good. I always recommend them unless you are playing with auto resolve. Uh, please don't auto resolve. And next we got more skirmishing. You can use skirmish chariots. Uh, it is not my playstyle, but if you want to bait enemies into weird positions, run away and do some damage to unshielded units, or even uh, go against low tier missile units, you can try skirmish chariots. And now let's go to the late game. These Rodian Noble Spears are solid tanky frontline, again they are going to hold for longer, their flanking defense helps them very well in many battles, so you will be having easy time with this solid frontline. Next, our chargers and flankers uh, with shields are the companions of Tlepolemos. These guys are very offensive, 59 melee attack, uh, they are going to cut through enemies and with the, their charge and again spread and charge ability we can boost it to the 47 charge with such attack and charge bonus these guys are your shock unit and very shocking for enemies to face them. So next we have the veteran slings. Uh, we have 180 range and good damage, 
also the volley ability, which I have showed you before. And yes, because of more models, this unit is better than any other slings on same tier. But wait, there's more. We have more elite upgrade, the Rodian renowned slings. They have even more range. They have uh, missile damage output of the uh, the most elite slings. They are having good uh, shield and 100 models. If that's not enough, you can still use volley to outrange enemies as well. So these guys are the best slings in the game. You can do some skirmishing as well in the late game. The Rodian veteran skirmishers are having much uh, deadlier javelins. Uh, they are going to block a lot of enemy projectiles and shoot while moving. Yes, they are going to kill and melt armored units and you can use them against enemy missiles very well. And very last, we got the Rainforce Skirmish Chariot. Uh, Rodos does not have a heavy melee chariot. You are going to use or rely on the Skirmish one instead. Uh, I would normally say that uh, missile chariots are not good enough, but this one is exception. This one, because of their javelin, because of the javelins, they are able to deal enough damage in charges uh, and, and you can use them against medium units. Even though it is medium, uh, this one is do going to do well against medium front lines. But be careful with this. So, how would we use the uh, Rodos army? Let's you would always have some front line. You are going to win uh, missile battles because of the best links in the game. I would recommend using the companions uh, or the sword chargers together with uh, javelin skirmishers, and maybe also together with chariots. This is your flanking force. Oh, another thing to notice. Uh, the companions are quite heavy, that's why they are going to be a bit slow. So I, you are going to use them to support your front line and not flank around like crazy, like with other factions. But on charge you are going to delete other units. I would also bring some lower tier units. I would say that these um, Rodian Armored Swordsmen are fast enough uh, flankers. You can always use their charge ability. Or maybe you can use some Island Club Warriors here and there to use their unspottable ability to pin down enemy units. When I make them stop, they will show this icon. So. I hope you will be having a fun with this faction. You are having the best links, good solid front line, and you. What is another unique is the charging swords. Every other sword is not so good at charging like this. So, that would be it, and see you later.